Now, in a small piece of history, Keith Miller of the National Army Museum presents a favorite object from the collection. This particular sword is very much tied up with the history of Ireland. In Ireland in the 18th and 19th centuries, the uh, local militias were controlled by mainly English immigrants. Such a family were the Brownlows, who were resident at Lurgan and who were MPs for Armagh. This particular sword was presented to Charles Brownlow when he left the regiment, which, or, or the local unit which he formed. The men who were under his command would club together to get him a present when their captain left. They could have gone to London to actually buy a uh, presentation sword, which is what this is. However, they decided that they would go to Dublin. Um, they, and they went to the man who was regarded as the best uh, sword cutler in Ireland at that time and probably throughout that whole period, a man called John Reed of Trinity Square, Dublin. Um, John Reed had a very specific um, and obvious um, style of sword making and you could always tell a, a sword by reed almost instantly you look at it. Uh, the main thing would be the, these red leather inserts on the scabbard. Um, he also put the Irish harp um, on the long jets here. But the thing that makes this most unusual, and in fact I've never seen another one, is in fact this particular wheel. Uh, we call it the Ronson, but basically speaking it was to protect the, the actual base of the sword when it dragged along the ground. However, we reckon that it would have created sparks at the time. So as Brownlow walks along, he would be followed by a trail of sparks. Mm -hmm. 